Okay, uh, some of the guys on Skype yesterday were asking about this. It's the Newmark Mixmeister Control. I picked this up at Guitar Center a couple years ago, last year, a couple years ago, anyway. And it came with Mixmeister Fusion. And we'll just have a, a quick look at the control first as USB in and out it's a MIDI controller you can also get a optional power unit for it if your laptop doesn't have enough bus power mine does up here it has an assignable bank with 12 assignable controls tempo pitch bend timeline so the scroll forward and back on the timeline. This is to zoom in and out on the timeline. Over on the left side here, a series of overlay triggers. <coughs> also have the four channels. Whatever channel is playing is lit up in the ring around it. So we have master volume, or volume for that channel, bass, mid, treble, and some other controls that I don't know about because I've never bothered to learn about them or use them. There's those four. Got some edit controls here. Cut, copy, paste, split, and undo. Select. This is the search wheel. Now if you have, if you're running two sound cards, this is your preview, which would be your cue and your headphones. And then this would be your, your master. Play, pause, stop, and the mix now button, which starts the next track when you push it. Over on the right here, we have uh, master volume. This tells you if you're on preview or perform, headphone, and the strip solo buttons. Just another thing I haven't bothered to learn about. I primarily use this to mix my dinner music together so my dinner music is seamless. Um, here are the transition buttons and these are the ones I use the most. With this one, by turning this knob, and I'll keep turning it, we'll see we can scroll through the library. Now I can set the library up in, into genres or what have you. Right now I just have it on an entire library. I usually know what song I'm looking for so I just search rather than scroll. When I want to find a song like say oh my god there and I want to add it to uh, I want to add to the playlist all I have to do is push down on the button and it pops up on the other side. Uh, as I scroll through them like right now it's on as long as I'm scrolling to the right it's the bottom track. If I scroll up to the left I get a faint flash which one it's on. Time of my life, I could press the preview button. And by turning this knob, I can scroll ahead and back. Okay, and the preview. Just press the button again. Uh, once you have tracks up, using transition and tweak buttons, intro and outro, uh, along with timeline scroll and zoom. <coughs> Pardon me, I don't have a tripod today. Twisting the zoom, that's going to make it so I can keep making it bigger and I can scroll. So there's my my transition at the moment, it's on a simple cut. Now on the on this top track, if I want to move the outro position, we'll zoom back out here. Jump to the end of the song. Zoom in a little bit. I want to change the outro position of that song by turning the knob, I don't know if you can see this or not, turning the knob to the left moves it back, turning it forward moves it forward, 
and much the same way we did the outro by turning the intro knob I can adjust the intro on the next track okay here we have the the jog wheel for lack of a better term and I don't know if we can see this here it's really sensitive it doesn't you have to move it much to get it to move around and I found that I even have to uh, uh, put a little piece of gaff tape on it to keep from bumping it if I do use it live which is one of the reasons why I don't use it live uh, we'll look at the intros and outros so we want to move the outro on oh my gosh OMG by Usher closer towards the end by turning the outro button to the right I move the outro point closer to the end turning it to the left moves back if I click on the next track if I move the intro button to the right moves it further into the song if I move it to the left it moves back towards the beginning familiar with the open assigned banks or the overlay triggers I haven't played with those you haven't any reason to I don't use a slide like I said before I just use it to put it together my dinner music uh, it's really easy to make the transitions with this and adjust the volumes rather than trying to do everything with the mouse um, from what I understand from watching another YouTube video from Newmark, it is a MIDI controllable controller, so all of the channels and buttons can be remapped and reassigned. When using it with Fusion, there wasn't any drivers to install or anything like that. It was simply plug and play with the software that came with it. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down there and I'll try and answer them. <laughs> 